In this video on atomic structure, we'll look at two opposite words, penetration and ionisation. So how alpha, beta and gamma can either penetrate or how they ionise things. When we say penetrate, we mean pass through objects and ionise is when they make things gain or lose electrons and therefore become an ion or another charged particle. If something can easily penetrate through something, it's because it's got a low ionisation level. And conversely, if it can't penetrate, it's got a very high ionisation. As a reminder, we need to know what an alpha particle is. So it's two protons and two neutrons. This is relevant because we need to know its charge. And we know because it has two protons, so that's plus one of each of them. Neutrons are neutral, zero charge. So overall, an alpha particle has a charge of plus two. So we would say an alpha particle is highly ionising and not able to penetrate through things. And the reason for that is because it has a charge of plus two, so it's highly charged, but it's also very large. It's got a mass number of four because there's two protons and two neutrons. In fact, it's absorbed and stopped by paper or skin. So because it is so highly ionising, it can only travel a few centimetres in air. A beta particle, if we remember, is just a high speed electron that we measure that gets ejected from the nucleus. And from a previous video, it's when a neutron turns into a proton. A beta particle is just the electron, so its charge is negative one. So if we compare that to that of an alpha particle that had a charge of plus two, this one's only minus one. So if we look at the size of the numbers, it's half the size if we ignore the positive and negative. So therefore it's in the middle, it's slightly ionizing and it's slightly penetrating. So because it's more penetrating, it can travel slightly further. In fact, it can travel about a meter in air and it's absorbed or stopped by a few millimetres of aluminium, and we can use it to measure the thicknesses of different materials. Gamma, we said previously, is a high-energy electromagnetic ray that's come from the nucleus. So because it's a ray, it has no charge. It's also massless, so therefore it's highly penetrating. It can pass through absolutely anything, well, pretty much anything, and therefore it's not ionising. So it gets stopped by a few centimetres of lead, or a few metres of concrete. Through air, it can travel a few kilometres. This is a picture that you may have seen. So alpha, as a reminder, gets stopped by skin or paper. Beta can pass through that, but does get stopped by a few millimetres of aluminium, whereas gamma will keep passing through most things indefinitely.